Hello, Magnet Man 2010. Here again. <laughs> I was uh, playing around here a little bit with lid motors, pennies, the blocking oscillators, and I, I was just going to try to determine uh, w when that little LED will stop flashing, yeah, at what power level. So I thought, well, heck, I'll just take uh, one of my. Hope you can see this okay. I'm get it focused fairly well. Now, anyway, this this is a super cap, and it's a 2.3 volt, 50 farad. So the way what I decided to do to try and determine when the uh, voltage drops enough uh, to stop them LEDs from flashing, I decided that well I'll just charge up one of these caps uh, to like something like 600 millivolts. And I'll hook it up and see what happens. And what I did is I just took a little 9 volt like this and took the super cap and I hooked a uh, meter across it so I could tell what it was at. And I brought it right up to exactly 600 milliamps. Then I go ahead and I went and I hooked, uh, hooked it up to this guy. And like so. Hopefully you can see that alright. Uh, I've got the uh, penny hooked to it and then I also have the meter hook to it, okay? And I thought, okay, now I'll just wait and I'll see what happens. This penny uh, that I built is exactly a replica of lip motors. The only difference is I'm using a 330 UF cap instead of a 100 UF cap like he uses in his drawing. Uh, the reason I did that <laughs> I didn't have any 100 UF caps, but I had a few of these uh, 330 caps, so I put it in and tried it and it seemed to work just fine. If you want to see the uh, drawing, uh, the, the original one, the, the penny drawing from Lid Motor, uh, go to Lid Motor's channel and find Penny Circuit Diagram. Penny Circuit Diagram. And he does an excellent drawing of it there. Well, anyway, what puzzled me? I waited and waited and waited and waited for the voltage to drop. However, if I can get this to work here, you can see it. Hopefully, you can see that. That's 659 millivolts. Now, I swear that started at 600 millivolts. I checked it a lot of times. I, I started this up last night, yesterday afternoon, and I've been checking it periodically. I shut the meter off. I come in once in a while, I turn the meter on, and I check it, and it's been steadily marching up instead of going down. So I thought, well, something's got to be goofy here. So I set up another one over here. <laughs> Same thing, exactly. I brought the super cap up to 600 millivolts. And this was uh, this morning, not too, too, a few hours ago. And it did, it did the same thing. Hopefully, it's very hard to see. Let me shine light on that one. It's went up 10 millivolts. And it's been steadily marching up. And this one here, it's went up 59 milliamps since yesterday afternoon. I'm wondering how long these things will run. Maybe forever. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty uh, pu puzzling to me. I'm hoping that uh, either Lip Motor or somebody out there can shed a little light on why this is doing that. They're actually going up. This one's been running for over 24 hours. It's uh, went up 59 millivolts. <laughs> this one here has been running a few hours, and this went up 10 millivolts. You can see my settings I've got on there. Perhaps you can anyway. I have a set of 200, the 200 millivolt range on both of them. And I said to the wife, I said, this is really something. I mean, it, I told her, it's just like, you know, going and filling a truck half full of gas and then driving it for a week, and at the end of the week, we got a full tank. She laughed over that, so did I. But I, I'm hoping that somebody out there uh, can give me a explanation of why this is doing this. I'm going to go off a flower here once and so you can see both of them together. 
There we go. Where did I get off? Nope. And now I'm off. I'll back way up here. You see them both running in here? Anyway, pretty darn neat. Pretty interesting. Pretty dumbfounding to me, too. Hope I get some comments on this one. Thought I'd share that, because it was so strange. Thanks very, very much for watching.